What's up, everyone? Welcome to MNC Evening's Top 10 Countdown. Today, we're counting down the top 10 gaming media blunders. What do you think about that, Mooch? I think we could have easily done a top 100 crap, is what I'm thinking. Easily, but the people don't have time for that. So no, we got to gotta keep it moving, you know, yeah. keep it moving. So I'm going to start us off with number 10, focusing on resolution to start the generation and then totally abandoning it. When Xbox got the upper hands, it really shows the media favoritism and how the narrative changes to whatever Sony has at that time. It's so true, buddy. We saw it time and time again for the past four years, and I don't think it's over yeah. yet. Number nine, GameSpot couldn't find the settings option. This was a clear attempt to pile on and kick Microsoft when they were already down. Just showed how ridiculous and uneducated the media really turned out to be this generation. I mean, oh, come yeah. on, right? Yeah. I mean, I remember, like, we can't find settings. <laughs> and at the time, Connect was, I think, uh, with pretty much everybody had Connect. You just go Xbox, go to settings. Not like just was... that crap, but I mean, anybody who's been playing games for about at least, I'll give them a year. If you've at least been playing games for a year, you can find settings on every console at any point in time. Absolutely. There's multiple ways to do it. Guess they can't. No. Number eight, continually calling out Xbox for not having exclusives, yet praising Sony for having a sparse lineup and telling us how genius it is. Something not right there, folks. Something Absolutely not right. genius crap. Yes. Genius. No games. Genius. Revolutionary. Number seven, taking sides. The media clearly pushed the PS4 as dominant due to power, then later in the generation due to games. But when Xbox had exclusives like Sunset Overdrive, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Titanfall, not to mention the first party studios, and now they have the power crown, very little praise comes to the Microsoft side. Huge blunder in journalism and media to take sides, especially when the media claims that only fanboys talk console wars. Sorry, but so does the gaming media. They provoked a lot of the console wars this generation, Brad. They're the ones that started the whole thing to begin with. Who are you telling? It's Sony. Yeah. Hell, Sony was the one that was like, hey, 1080p makes you a better gamer. This is uh, how you share a game. Killzone. That, that's 1080p for you, and it wasn't even 1080p. They started this whole console war with a lie to begin with. Absolutely ridiculous. I agree. Um, number six, turning every little thing into a major flaw against xbox no matter if it's supposed to be positive or negative like this you're forced to download forced, forced to download 4k forced. updates if you buy your 4k xbox one x you're forced like forced <laughs> forced yes exactly you're forced to do it. it it's it's it makes it sound so bad but the whole reason we're getting the xbox one x is to get those 4k assets and downloads folks yeah so true bro so true <laughs> Number five, the now infamous Destin Legary mem, showing him holding up the PS4 1080p over the Xbox 900p. One of the true turning points that began to show gamers that even the media has succumbed to fanboy tactics. Oh yeah, they, right? they, love, the, they love the fanboy tactics, it's, it's great. Yeah. Number four, the obvious double standard, like hey, PUBG's expensive because you've got to spend $500 to get an Xbox One X to get one. <laughs> Remember that one? I, you can't even make that up. <laughs> I know. That was a legit thing, but nothing like that with Spider-Man or God of War bundles. Not like, oh, a copy of Spider-Man is going to cost you 400 bucks because you got to buy this. You know, none of that. You think that Only, would be a mooch crap skit, but it's not. It's not. It legit happened. They're like, PUBG is going to cost you a lot. 499 because <laughs> you got to buy the X. Some, you know, it's crazy. The gaming media. I know. Number three, Jeff Keighley. Hours before the 2017 Xbox E3, Jeff leaked the price of the Xbox One X, essentially ruining Microsoft's show and starting early negative press on a console that costs, in quote, too much. Microsoft was taken back by this, and it showed when Jeff Keighley in 2018 was nothing short of a cheerleader for Xbox to get back in the good graces with the Microsoft execs. It's true. Exa it's he was true. so up the Microsoft executive's butt that he literally was like a cheerleader the first, what, I don't know, week before the e3 this year it was unbelievable yeah, it, was. it was it was absolutely insane you knew he had a nerve with microsoft he must absolutely absolutely number two that there's no real xbox centric show or outlet for the most part everything's either playstation or nintendo we don't have anybody no big shows you know you always like you can tell right away what there's some of these nintendo or playstation but where's that big time gamer influencer that's an xbox guy they just lacks that, and I think that really goes to show that people are afraid to speak their mind that they're Xbox fans, and that, to me, is a big blunder. 
I completely agree. As a matter of fact, crap, I agree so much that I have to piggyback and say that number one, there are no Xbox-centric shows except IGN's Podcast Unlocked, which happens to be the most depressing show of Xbox support on YouTube. It hosts Uh-oh. Ryan McCaffrey and his anti-Xbox IGN staffers that not only critique Xbox, but tell you how Sony's doing it better. We get it. You like Sony. But can you at least cater to Xbox fans for one hour a week on IGN? Apparently not. Crap, I had to go <laughs> one. Has to go with number two. It's just that much of a problem. The it biggest does. blunder in the media is we don't have anything Xbox-centric. You even have IGN, which is predominantly Sony fan, which is fine. You have Greg Miller, who ripped off of and left uh, IGN. He does a full channel, which is great production value. All Sony. Yep. 100%. And, uh, yeah, when you're uh, Ryan McCaffrey, well, I guess Xbox did okay. You know, <laughs> it's so nothing great. It was okay. You know, nothing well, the only place to go for Xbox, folks, you're lucky. You got mooch and crap. We're here for you guys, all right? We're here for all you green suiters. There you go. Exactly, exactly. Yes, everyone that likes green, we're here. <laughs> and there's the MNC Evenings Top 10 Countdown. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. If you have a topic you'd love us to count down, let us know, and we'll be glad to get to it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Megaton!